Hi, it's Daniel here. Got something really great for you today. Got uh, some stuff about uh, posting on Facebook automatically. So let's have um, let's get straight into it. It's called Buffer. If you use it already, that's fine. But I want to show you a little hack that makes it using Buffer a lot easier. So let's click on Buffer. B U F F E R. I think it's just Buffer.com. Opening up. So I'm already logged in. Let's have a look. So I've got my content here. Now this is really interesting because what you can do with Buffer is schedule posts throughout the day. So on a Sunday, what I would do, I, I, have, I have set up, um, I did have set up two post times throughout the week, Monday to Friday. So I'd post just after nine o'clock in the morning, then I'd post at four o'clock in the afternoon automatically. What I'd do on a Sunday is I'd find content, drop it uh, into Buffer, and um, and then that would be leaked out during the week. The thing is, it is pretty hard finding content. So what I found that you could do is actually um, use another application, another platform called Q, Q U U U, and you can link this to your Buffer account. So let's look at Q, um, log into Q automatically logs in I've already got an account links your account with Facebook and Instagram now so Q basically finds content for your buffer account you can have the settings so settings for accelerate rehab I've got categories health and fitness women's fitness medical health and fitness and physical therapy with a free account which is what I've got you can have two suggestions per day so what Q does is grabs two pieces of content per day, drops it into this area here, and then it feeds it to my Buffer account um, based on these categories. So um, it would it'd pick some content in regards to these categories, and you can pick your categories. There's, there's heaps of different categories depending on what you're um, into, but for massage and exercise, these are the ones that link um, closest to what we do. So there's no um, content in there at the moment, but that'll grab a couple of pieces of content throughout today and then it'll drop them in buffer. Now, because I've switched off my automatic posts into my Facebook page, I don't have any posts going into my Facebook page at the moment. But what Q is doing is it's still feeding buffer with content, okay, based on my categories. So if you can look at the different content here, five ingredients to avoid in cold and flu medicine, the gut brain connection. So these are relevant to our industry, I suppose. And so there you go. The reason why I've turned off my automatic um, postings onto Facebook is because there was a few articles that was being dropped in here that I'm not really happy with so I'm not really into wheatgrass so I wouldn't really talk about that so what was happening is Q would send these articles to Buffer and Buffer would automatically post them throughout the day onto my Facebook account or Instagram account and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get there in time before it posted so I wouldn't be able to make a comment on it so what you can actually do is you can um, click on uh, the one about wheatgrass and you can put your own comments before it or add some um, pictures or whatever and then you can actually schedule it at a certain time or have it automatically scheduled so it's good so I've got this all, all this automatic content that's coming in so on a, on a Sunday I can just pick whatever articles I like and then I can schedule them throughout the week rather than have automatic scheduling um, per day with uh, Q putting content in there that I can't actually vet um, it just wasn't working because there was <coughs> articles that, was, that were going in there about, um, you know, top five foods to eat in summer or something like that. And it's not summer here. They were, they were US based. So there you have it. Um, yeah. Any questions on that? Then uh, just um, put them in the comments. All right. I'll talk to you soon.